Welcome to Storytime with Sugar. Today we're reading, Have You Ever Seen a Moose Taking a Bath? Have you ever seen a moose taking a bath? You will giggle and snicker and out and out laugh. It's an absolute stitch. A sight to behold is the same one and all from the young to the old. On go the goggles and nose plug pinched tightly. This bathing bonanza is not taken lightly. His scrubby dub brush and Mr. Moose bubbles, his ducky Bill Weber and towelsies and doubles. He's ready, he's set, from tip top to tip toes. Bath time's upon us. Get ready, set, go. A run and a leap then into the air with all four spread wide and the wind in his hair. He tips to the left and he dips to the right then. Oh no, look out, it's a crash in mid-flight. Oh, what a shame, he was looking quite regal till colliding mid-air with Ernest the Eagle. Hooves over antlers, oh, what a crash. I opened my eyes to a belly flop splash. Confused, a bit dazed, but a shake of his snout brought quick back to mind what is this, this his bath time's about. Have you ever seen a moose go rubby dub dub? He has lots of fur inches that need a good scrub. He dives and he dives and he rolls and he rolls till he's soppingly drenched from antlers to soles. Bill Weber floats by as moose pours in the bubbles. He splashes round till those bubbles have doubled. Where is he, you'll wonder? Only suds can you see. Then up he will pop as he sings out with glee. I'm a moosey in the tub. I scrub and scrub and rubby dub dub. When I hopped in, I really did stink, but that's what a bath's for, I really do think. I lather, I scour, and rinse, and I shine, so when I step out, I'll be looking quite fine. You'll be laughing so hard as this act is unfolding, you'll be roaring out loud while your sides you'll be holding. His scrubby dub brush, every spot it will hit from the crest of his head to his hairy armpit. He'll buff on his chest and belly and honey, then legs one through four and hooves till they're shiny. And lastly, his tail and his antler head rack, then over he'll turn and sprawl out on his back. I thought he would lie there and just rest and soak, but soon he was doing a rhythmed backstroke. A one and a two and a three and a four. He moved through the water. What next was in store? Then from his muzzle, the stream went straight up like geyser all faithful. The water erupted. He stroked and he sputtered and sang out his tune till his skin shriveled up and he looked like a prune. It's time to get out and get on with his day. His breakfast is waiting, a field full of hay. He'll scoop up Bill Weber, his scrubby dub brush, his Mr. Miss Bubbles. This bath's been too much. He'll, he'll head for dry land and pick out a spot. He'll locate his tallacies of which he had brought. And then as he's dripping, he'll plant down all fours. He'll throw back his head and let out a roar. He'll start at his ears and give them a shake. It's a ripple effect, that one shake it did make. Down his nose and his back to the tip of his tail, I thought for a moment he's starting a gale. For the water, you see, it went up with such power, it sure did resemble an early spring shower. When every last drop of mere wetness is gone, he'll pick up his moose robe of which he will don. He'll scope up his new towelsies and give them a toss over antlers just perfectly they'll go across. He'll look to the east and look to the west. He'll pick out a sunspot that suits him the best. There he will lounge and slurp on his leaf juice. He'll look to the sky and be glad he's a clean moose. Have you ever seen a moose taking a bath? You will giggle and snicker and out and out laugh. It's an absolute stitch. It's a sight to behold. So be sure and see it before you get old.